Welcome back. James Wolhide is here because it's been raining yeah, and we've been talking about rain and how we don't want any more, but yet there's going to be more. So what, what issues is this causing, James? You know, it's interesting. I had a call just the other day by someone who said uh, something about, oh, I need to make sure I get my sprinkler all checked and ready to go and on. And I said, no, 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 stop. Don't add any more water. We have had more than enough water. And we actually have seen some issues because of too much water. I'm not talking about the streets washing away or people getting washed off the road, which also happens, but I'm talking about the life of plants. Now. Again, to kind of reiterate, just because we saw some sunshine does not mean that we need to add water. We have enough water in the soil right now to last at least two weeks with no additional rain. Which we were just so, talking about this. A lot of people are making that mistake. They're just, they see the sunshine and they turn those sprinklers back that's on. That's exactly right. It's and we no -no. need to dry out a little bit and let those roots go ahead and, and grow the way they should. We've had so much water that some roots have been damaged. Now, that kind of brings us into the topic today, and that's take all root rot. I have seen a lot of it around town on St. Augustine grass. And your St. Augustine will just kind of take on a light, light color. It looks terrible. You can't yeah. quite. Great picture. There it is. If your lawn looks like this, you have got probably, and it, it has to take a, uh, it, it, you have to examine it closely and, and under a microscope to know for sure, probably take all root rot. Now, the problem there is when grass is stressed, or any plant, when it's stressed to the max for a number of reasons or uh, from a number of different issues, it can become sick, just like you and I. Too much stress is not healthy for us. And this is an example of take all root rot, which, which lives in the soil, especially here in East Texas, and the plant is so stressed from too much water, temperatures are off, one day it's hot, one day it's cold, and the grass just doesn't know what to do, and it responds poorly to that, and the disease takes over. It's a fungus disease. Now, in the past, the only way we knew to take care of that was with uh, peat moss. A light application hmm. of peat moss across the lawn took care of it. They were not exactly sure, they being Texas A&M, exactly sure why it worked, but it did work. The suspicion was that the acidity of the peat moss was just enough to take care of the, the fungus and stop it. Um, so that was the, the normal treatment, not much else you could do, although now I understand there's a new product out. It's been available to commercial applicators for some time. It's now available to homeowners, and it it's goes under the, the label of Scott's Disease EX. Okay. And that's a product you can buy at the, the store, get it off the shelf. Of course, you must follow and read the label directions. Follow those directions to the T. It's a, it's a strong product. It has been, again, commercially available for the trade, but now it's available to homeowners. And if your lawn looks like this and you suspect it is take all root rot, then that would be the, about the only thing you can use that's going get it, to get it better, other than peat moss. Yeah, I was going to say, does one work better than the other? You know, probably uh, for immediate response, the fungicide is going to work better. The peat moss is going to be a little slower, but a, a much more organic or environmentally safe way to approach it. Uh, it's whichever way you feel most comfortable, uh, and it's not uh, an impossible product to distribute, but you really must read that label and follow those directions. That is federal law. Now, I doubt the federal police are going to come arrest you if you spread it wrong. No, you that might. Is, that is federal law. <laughs> well, well, hi, thank you so much. Um, if people want to learn more information about this, I'm sure you answered a lot of questions on people's minds, but where can they find that? They can always uh, find us at uh, willheightlandscape.com, and we're always happy to visit and answer questions and see if we can help people out. All right, thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thanks, Cynthia. All right.